Do you want to learn how to make your scratch character have a smooth motion where it slows down at the ends and stops, and accelerates and decelerates as it goes? Well then you need to learn how to use Scratch's sign function. This can be very useful in making games and animations. First off, let me explain what a sign graph is. Here, as you can see, it looks like a wave. This wave goes from 1 to negative 1 on the y-axis and it continues forever on the x-axis. As the wave goes near the top or the bottom, it like makes a small curve, kind of like it's slowing down. This is what we want to recreate today. Okay, so we'll start off with all the basic stuff. So we'll go to our events when green flag is clicked and we're going to go to our motions and then we're going to point in direction 90 so it points to the right. We're going to go and get go to x0 and y0 so that it starts in the middle somewhere. And then we'll go to our looks and then we're going to set size to 100%. This block of code isn't really that important but it's good to have as a starting point. Now that we have our starting position, we're going to make two variables. So we'll go to our variables. One of our variables are going to be made, are going to say my number. Okay, and then we're going to make another variable saying new number. So now that we have our two numbers right here, it should show up here. These aren't really that important. You don't need them to show, but it's good to have them to know what's going on, what sign is actually doing. Now we're going to make our code that centers around our variables. So we're going to go back to our events. We're going to have uh, parallel lines of code. So when green flag is clicked, we're going to go to our variables and we're going to have set my number to zero. That's the first part. And then we're going to have a forever loop, but inside that forever loop, we're going to have set, we're going to take this out, set my new number to, we're going to take this where it says ABS of, and then a bubble, we're going to take that out. Okay. And then over here, when you click the arrow or this little box, it has all these options like ceiling, square root, sine, cos tan, a sine, a cos, a tan, and log, etc. So here we're going to try to find sine, and then we're going to have our variable in here, our my, num my number variable. So we're going to go here, take this bubble out, and then put it into this bubble. And then we're going to put this where the zero is. So now that we have that, that's our first part. And next we're gonna have change my number by one. So that's okay by itself. And then we're gonna have wait because we need to have a wait time for it to like, we need to have a time for it to change and the number for it to change, kind of like a timer. So we're gonna go to our controls. We're gonna have wait and I think a solid time for it to wait, not too long, not too short, would be 0 0.1. So that's there. And then we're going to put a forever loop all the way around it so that it goes on forever and doesn't just stop. Connect that. And there you have your block of code that represents what your variable does. Now we're going to put our variable to use. We're going to go back to this block of code that we made earlier. And we're going to add some stuff to it. So we have these three blocks. We're going to go to set my number, so the variables, to 0. And then we're going to have a forever loop. And I'll put that to the side for now. We're going to have a forever loop. And then we're going to change our variables. So change my number by 10. So change my number by 10. And then we're going to go to motion. And then change x by, so we're going to go find change x by, and then we're going to go to our operators and back to this abs of, and then we're going to find sine, sine of my number, 
So we're going to go to our variables and take this bubble out, sign of my number, and then we're going to put that into times 10. So in these operators, we have these, these um, equations. They're not equations, but basically plus, minus, times, and divide. So we're going to take this multiplication, and we're going to go put this into the first bubble. And now that we have that, we're going to have this times 10. Okay. And then we're going to put all of that into change x by here. Connect those, put a forever loop around it. And there we have your block of code. So now, when we click the green flag, you can see the cat sliding back and forth. Now I think I should show you what my number and new number means. So remember earlier, when I showed you the graph, here's the sign graph that I created on Desmos. As you can see, when we zoom in a bit, it's at the top point at where the wave reaches is one and the bottom is negative one. And it just keeps going like that over and over. If I zoom out, the top and the bottom always stay at the same level. But the thing is, it never stops. Even if I keep zooming out, the sign graph keeps going on the x-axis. Now, what does this mean, you may ask? Well, let's get back to our let's get back to our game or our animation that we made. So when I press the green flag, look closely at the my number like number values and the new number number values. So this my number keeps going up and it never stops. But this new number over here, it all it like it stops at 1 and then it goes back down. After looking at the graph, you can say that the my number variable is the x value of the sign graph and the new number variable is the y value of the sign graph. Like I said earlier, the y value just changes is anywhere between -1 1 and 1 and then the my number goes on repetitively forever and it never stops. Now what if I wanted to make my cat move farther or what if I wanted to make it move faster you may ask. This is what these two blocks are for. So the change my number by whatever number, this is the speed. So if I make it go by 20, let's say for example, if I press the green, the green flag, it moves faster. Now let's stop this. Let's bring it back to 10. And let's change change x by sign of my number times 10. We'll make it to times 20. This is the length at which it travels. So we'll try this now. As you can see, it goes at a farther length, all, like, all the way off the screen. Now if you keep changing this, it keeps going faster, it keeps going longer. If you make it smaller than 10, let's make it 5, it like barely moves. And so that's what these two blocks do. And if you ever want to customize how far your player or your sprite goes, then use these two blocks and these two operations. If you want to make your character rotate on a single axis, like a hypnotizing watch, like this, then you basically just need the same code. So we're just going to duplicate this. So right click, press duplicate. I'm going to bring it over here and the part we're going to change is this part down here where it says change x by sign instead of change x we're going to do new position so we'll take out this block where it says point in direction and then we'll take out this green part put this x back and we'll put that in there but the thing is, we want it to point in direction 90 since it's starting at 90. So we'll point in direction sine of number 10 plus 90. So we'll bring this equation out, go back to our operators, and take out the plus operation. I'll put this into the first bubble, and then in the end, we'll put in 90. So put this in there, put in 90. 
and there you go you put that in there whoops and we'll just check if everything's the same we have to have another point in direction Any, and then bring our event when green flag is clicked so we'll disconnect this and we'll see what happens when we press the green flag now as you can see it rotates a bit now what if you want it to rotate some more or like have a greater length all you need to do is change this 10 to a bigger number so let's change it to 100 now now let's press the green flag and there you go it rotates much more than it did before now let's say you want to make your character bigger or smaller we're going to do the exact same thing we're going to take this code duplicate let's bring it over here and let's bring our event and what we have to change is we're not changing by x we're going to change the size so we're going to take this block out this blue block and we're going to go to our looks and look for change size so there we found it this and all you're going to do is take your operation and then put it into the change size by and then where the 10 was you put it into that bubble and you put it back into the forever loop so we'll get rid of this and now when we press the green flag as you can see it gets bigger and smaller and as it gets smaller it slows down as it gets bigger it slows down and accelerates and decelerates like i said before now what would happen if you were to put all three of those together let's find out we'll duplicate this and let's say i'll bring it down here we'll just take our event from here out because we don't need that anymore and so we have change size all you have to do remember when we changed our code all we did was change whatever was in the forever loop just this blue block this purple block and then this is change x all we have to do is put all of them into the same forever loop so we already have the change size we're going to take the point in direction and we're going to put it in here and we're going to take the change x by and we're going to put it into there now this is this is what your final code should look like it just has these all three of the different changes to the character so we'll press the green flag and let's see what happens it does some crazy animation that looks pretty weird, but it looks fun. And so this is how you really use the sign to its full potential and how to really have fun with it. And that's how to move your character in Scratch using the sign function. For more awesome Scratch tutorials like these and more Scratch Basics tutorials, make sure to go to our Chromeworks Tech YouTube channel at Chromeworks Technology, where you can find all sorts of Scratch videos. Remember to like this video and subscribe, and see you next time.